Iran may purchase the MiG-35 and J-10C fighters. Which one is more suitable for Iran's actual needs? Compared with its predecessors, the MiG-35 does have a qualitative change in technology, and it is no longer the original MiG-29. The airborne electronic equipment, endurance and weapon systems have been comprehensively improved, and the overall performance has reached the level of mainstream Western fighters. However, compared with the J-10C, the MiG-35 has many defects. First, the dual-engine MiG-35 is obviously heavier, with an empty weight of 11 tons, which can no longer be regarded as a light fighter, while the J-10C has an empty weight of only 7 tons. From left to right, obviously, the MiG-35 is more dependent on logistical machinery and has higher requirements for airport conditions, which is not suitable for the working environment in Iranian caves. J-10C only needs four to five people to drive it to rotate and move short distances in place, which greatly facilitates non-electric logistics activities, while the heavier MiG-35 obviously requires more people to move. Secondly, the MiG-35 dual-engine fuel consumption is higher, the logistics burden is heavier per flight, and the engine maintenance burden is heavier. Although the MiG-35 is heavier, the combat radius is not larger than that of the J-10C. Although the maximum ammunition capacity is stronger than that of the J-10C, it is of little significance in air combat mode. Iran needs air combat mode mounting. Therefore, if the purchase price is considered, the overall economy of MiG-35 is far inferior to J-10C. Third, the J-10C has a shorter takeoff distance, which is more suitable for field airports, especially cave airports in Iran. Canards are inherently characterized by excellent takeoff and landing performance then quickly lift off into the air, which is also suitable for air guerrilla operations, and hide after fighting. If the J-10C is equipped with an improved version of China's WS-10, its takeoff and landing performance should be greatly improved. Fourth, the performance of airborne electronic equipment and information equipment is not good for comparison. The performance of the active phased array radar Zhuk AE radar equipped with Russia is uncertain. The modularization and upgrade capabilities of the information system are unknown. But what is certain is that the MiG-35's onboard electronic equipment has been greatly improved, and both should have their own characteristics. However, the update capability of the MiG-35's airborne weapons should be inferior to that of the J-10C. This is very critical. The reason is that the overall Russian electronic technology capabilities are not as good as China, and the frequency of launching new models is far less than China. Therefore, the MiG-35 the follow-up combat power improvement ability is not as good as the J-10C. Fifth, and more importantly, J-10C is cheaper. The price of MiG-35 is 50 million above United States dollars, J-10C can obviously be traded around United States dollars 30 million. Iran can purchase about 45 J-10Cs for only US 1.5 billion dollars. The price of 6 China can provide cheap combat power multipliers various types of airborne early warning aircraft, this ability is not available in Russia. The types of Chinese early warning aircraft cover heavy, medium and light. The Air Police 500 is very suitable for Iran, with excellent performance and low price. This provides an economic choice for Iran to build a complete air system. With the support of a complete system, the Iranian Air Force does not even need to hide the aircraft in a cave, which can prevent similar the incident occurred when the passenger plane was hit by mistake.
Compared with many small countries, Iran needs a system more than just a few advanced fighters. In addition, Chinese weapons have always been known for their good after sales service, which is also an important competitiveness of J10C. Iran's old air force equipment, despite the barely sub-healthy operation under Iran's relatively complete industrial support, has reached a critical point where it must be replaced. On the one hand, most fighters have basically exhausted their lifespan, including more than 40 Panda fighters purchased by Pahlavi. In fact, fewer than 30 can fly. This is a miracle. The 70 or so MiG-29s that escaped from Iraq during the Gulf War have little lifespan left, and there are now less than half of the MiG-29s capable of performing missions. Iran has to increase the production of self-developed second-generation Lightning fighters to make up for the vacancy, but the symbolic meaning is greater than the actual meaning. On the other hand, even if some aircraft can take off, their technology is backward and they can no longer compete with the F-16 that is commonly equipped around them. The most important thing is that its sensors and information systems are seriously behind. In fact, these old fighters have no modern information systems at all. Its widely equipped early R-27 and the Iranian version of the Phoenix air-to-air -air missile modified from the Hawker air defense missile actually have no combat effectiveness. Apart from causing harassment to the opponent, they have no deterrent capability.